Hello, my name is Dan and these are three objects that I use daily at work to see if you can work out my job. So item number one is this plastic device. This is a container, it's hollow in the middle and this is used daily to check for the presence of unmixed water where it shouldn't be. Uh, I should be able to show you a video of what that looks like. Uh, so this is a critical item that we have to use every day before I can start my shift. As an insight, if there is unmixed water present in this and it's not been checked correctly, then it can lead to a bit of an emergency at work. So that's one hint. Uh, the second object that we use daily is this device, which is called a CRP5. This is actually a type of calculator that's used and it's used to calculate multiple figures for each shift that I'm required to do at work. Um, you can see there's quite a lot of data, it's got two sides to it and the values and numbers that you get from this change every single day, primarily depending on the weather, so that might be a bit of a clue. And the third item that I use is this, which we refer to as a hood. Uh, it's a device that you actually physically put over your face and it's designed to deliberately obscure your vision looking out of a windscreen. So it's to make things look a lot worse than they actually otherwise are. And they're my three items. So day-to-day -day tasks for my job. My day starts with having to check the weather thoroughly, uh, primarily to, to see how it's going to affect this day's plan. If the weather is okay and seems suitable, then my next time will be spent discussing uh, what the objective of my schedule will be and how to complete it safely. The practical part of my job uh, includes operating quite complex machinery and primarily it's working towards training others to operate the same machinery but in increasingly complex difficulty by the time they've finished. My job is very travel orientated. Uh, it takes me to different parts of the country every single day and unlike probably most people that work, I, I actually thoroughly enjoy the commute part of my job, it's probably my most favourite part. The sights and uh, scenery that I see on my job uh, can be breathtaking and I'd say the most challenging part of my job is probably towards the end of each shift, uh, primarily if the wind is quite strong, that might be a bit of a clue. Okay, so if you guess correctly, uh, I'm a flight instructor for commercial and airline pilots. So uh, a day-to-day -day experience of being me as a flight instructor uh, it starts with doing nice good thorough walk arounds of the aircraft, uh, briefing my students particularly on the weather to make sure they're aware of that. Um, lots of ground school studies and tuition as well, so plenty of physics, plenty of maths in the course. And then actually flying uh, quite light aircraft in the initial stages of their training. Comes through runway, short final, zero two, vision one ahead. And eventually getting them qualified to fly airlines, so to fly you and your families and friends on holiday. I absolutely love my job. I get to see different sites uh, almost every day. Uh, the views can be absolutely breathtaking, particularly flying down in the south of the UK at Shoreham Airport is where I'm based. It's absolutely stunning scenery. I would very strongly recommend a career in aviation, particularly at the moment as the industry starts to recover uh, from the current coronavirus. The actual uh, forecast for the need for pilots is going absolutely through the roof. So it seems like a great time to look at doing this type of training. If you would like to qualify to become a flight instructor, uh, be that to train other people to fly for airlines, or if you'd like to use it as a stopgap for working for an airline yourself or a commercial company, then you're gonna need to have a very good understanding of basic maths and physics. Uh, a passion for aviation or flight will be essential, particularly to get you through the exams, and there's quite a few of them to do during your studies. Flight training is generally known as quite an expensive route um, but it can be done at a much more affordable option if you look at doing your licenses or ratings in stages. Um, that's what I did. Uh, I've never had a loan um, or had any money from friends and family. I've paid for all of my training through wages, through working in different companies. So it's a very affordable option if you look at doing it uh, part-time. University is not a requirement for becoming a commercial pilot, but you might decide that you'd like to go through that route as it may give you a bit of an edge over your competition when you get to an interview. I would recommend that you have maths and science as part of your GCSE certificates and when you get towards college, uh, A-levels, also looking at expanding upon some kind of STEM subject, so some maths or some kind of science will help you a lot with your studies.